good evening guys so i want to come on here to try to encourage some of you all to be yourself and to do what god told you to do because some of the people that may be around you or that's you know just in the facility or whatever or whatnot and just and you a lot of them are absolutely and completely miserable guys and you have to be the one to make a decision to say i'm just going to do me and do what god told me to do regardless because i'm gonna tell you right now anything that you do is going to trigger these people anything if when you quiet or you talking you're gonna they're gonna be triggered in some kind of way um have y'all seen like the videos about people talking about um people being quiet at work and then people having a problem with it it's stuff like that y'all people that's minding their own business is triggering people it's triggering their nerves that these people are minding their business so that's a good example right there to look at they're gonna be triggered whether you walking or you standing still they're gonna be triggered whether you are talking or being quiet they're gonna be triggered whether triggered whether you are in your in your gills or you're not doing nothing at all they're gonna be triggered when you up and they're gonna be triggered when you down they matter of fact if you down they're gonna be trying to kick you while you down and then talk about you so it's better to just do whatever God told you to do. Do you and do what God told you to do. One of the main important parts about all of this is to be you. Be yourself. Don't try to be like nobody else. Take the inspiration from people, from other people, and see if it can fit into your situation. If it influences you in a positive way, you can take the pieces that you learned from whatever you've seen somebody else do that was positive. Take those pieces and be inspired. But do not try to be nobody else but you. You have a unique thing about yourself that nobody else on this earth has. Even if you are a twin, that's how God put it here on this earth. You have identical twins that have a difference within, within one another. Whether it's on the inside, their likes and dislikes, or whatever. They have their own individual individuality. And that's what God wants, wants you to shine bright. God said we are the salt of the earth. A lot of people that's um, looking at people that's followers of Christ like we supposed to be bland. And that ain't true. God said we are the salt of the earth. That means we give the earth flavor. We give flavor. We bring flavor to the table. And this is what they don't want for you guys to bring out. They want you guys to be bland, stagnant, stuck, um, crying yourself to sleep at night. That's because if you, if you crying yourself to sleep at night and you are depression and depression and things like that, it could be due to spell work, but it also could be due to you not doing what God told you to do. Because once you start doing that stuff, that stuff brings automatic joy. When I come on here and do these videos, I feel better after I do these videos and come out here because it's something that's meant for me to do. God put it on my heart to do it and God want me to do it. So anytime I do it, I feel bet I feel good to come out here and inspire you guys and to tell you guys about certain things. I feel so much better. And that's how you know that that's what's meant for you to do. It's it's your purpose. It's a part of your purpose. Is if you feel good when you do it and you feel good after you get done, that was a part of your purpose. Okay? People are going to be triggered regardless. It don't matter what you do or don't do. Even if you don't do anything, they're still not going to like you. You know? Because of the stuff that's going on on the inside of these people's hearts. It's all on the inside of these people's hearts. Do not tell, don't let nobody gaslight you. Don't let nobody try to trick you out for what God told you to do. If it don't line up with what God told you to do, then don't listen to them. And I don't care if it's family or whatever. A lot of times they don't know. They don't, they don't understand and they don't know. They don't know no better a lot of times. So if it don't line up with what God said then it's, it should go in one ear and, and out the other. Don't even listen to it. Because if you do listen to it and you listen to them people, that's called disobedience to God. This is why you listen to God first beyond everything else. That's the only voice that you're supposed to hear. Now, if it lines up with what God said, it's okay to get some extra stuff from them people. But it has to line up with what God already told you to do. You know, and then sometimes he'll send people to tell you certain stuff. And then after that, you see, you check in with God every time. Always check in with God. Do not ever let nobody trick you and tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing. They'll come over here and try to gas like me on the channel. It's like, that ain't gonna happen. It's not happening. I've already talked to God about all of this. So ain't nobody gonna do that to me. 
I always check in with God first. That's why I'm telling you all this. I practice what I preach, and that's why I come on here and tell you all the same thing. I wouldn't tell y'all nothing that I don't do myself. I do the, I do it myself, and that's why I'm telling you all, and that's how I know that that is the right thing to be, that we all should be doing. But if you have certain creativity within you, let that stuff shine bright. You don't know who you inspiring because you just never know. There's some people right now that never did tap into their gifts. Never did. All because of what somebody here on earth said. But what man or woman said. Don't let that be you. Okay? Do what God told you to do. And fall in love with the truth. Fall in love with the truth like I did. I am a lover of truth. Me and the truth, I told y'all, we are like this. I'm not going anywhere. The truth set me free and it builds me up. If you are a follower of Jesus Christ, then you are supposed to be in love with the truth because he is what? The way, the truth, and the life, okay? So you cannot even love Jesus probably if you don't love the truth. That just, it goes hand in hand with what Jesus stands for. So if you don't, if you don't love the truth, you may need to pray to God and ask God to heal that, that part of you that wants to push out the truth and just want to discard of the truth all the time. Pray to God that, that God delivers you from that mindset because it's not going to help your case at all. The truth truly does set you free. And that's what it did for me and that's what it's doing for a lot of other people. You guys, y'all just don't know. It's some, more, it's some more stuff that I have not told you guys about. But that Miss Williams got rid of that that stuff was doing to me. And let me tell you, just knowing about that type of stuff set me free. Just knowing the cause, the effect. I Just knowing that it's real people out here that can help you. Just knowing that you can become, you can get free from whatever is binding you. It don't matter what it is, y'all. It don't matter what it is. You can get free from it. There is an answer for everything for everything but the enemy wants you to think that you will never get free that you will never do this you'll never do that and you can't and this is impossible there is nothing impossible for god nothing he tells you that in his word there is nothing that god can't do i'm living proof of that as well let me be a living and walking testimony for you because with the way that those people had me trapped and bound i told you guys i'm not even supposed to be here and be able to talk and communicate with you guys at this point the way that they was doing it, I'm supposed to be some type of vegetable or something. But God cleared my mind and everything, freed me from every shackle and healed my land. And that's exactly what he want to do for you all. He want me to tell y'all that there is a answer for everything. There is a cure. There is a this. There is a, it's, it's an answer everywhere. And a lot of times when you're in the darkness, you can't really see that there is an answer there is a pipe there is a way out a lot of times you can't really see that when you're in the darkness but we're gonna shine light on that today okay there is an answer for everything if you guys are going through anything spiritual anything spiritual contact me in my email and i will point you in the right direction miss williams is a wonderful worker of god and she know how to remove everything okay god put it inside her to be able to know how to do that stuff she know how to remove everything. <laughs> All right. I don't think I can't think of nothing that she can't remove. Okay. So I would take a chance. I would take a chance. And let me tell y'all, the enemy is going to try to stop y'all from getting free. He's going to fight you so hard so that you don't get out and get free. He's he is willing to go neck and neck with you. And when I tell you, you're going to have to push. You have to push to get that thing out. It's just like birth birthing a baby. You know. Luckily for me, I didn't go through a whole bunch with that. My birth, my actual births were easy, all three of them. But when it came down to fighting this warfare, I had to push. I had to push it. You got to push like, I don't know if any of you all play sports, but if you did, you know those times whenever you tired and you still got to keep pushing anyway. And you got to give it that extra breath. You gain an extra breath. Even when you tired, you got to keep going. Y'all, I used to run track. And I know about that as well. I believe that was um, setting me up to help me to be able to persevere. Playing sports and running in high school helped me to develop a mind of perseverance. That's what this is, okay? And you can get free, you can get out, and you will get out. If you are still alive right now, God is going to fix it to where you get out. Because if, if he wasn't, if he, you know he could take you out right now if he wanted to. He could allow them things to take you out. 
He could allow them to take you out. But if you are still alive, you still got another chance. You still got chances and you will get free. Matter of fact, he's working on it right now. Been working on it. He's just waiting on you to push. Okay? Don't let the enemy trick you and tell you that you cannot do it and you can't get out. Yes, you can. And you will. In Jesus' mighty name, I'm speaking that over every last one of you guys' life right now. You are going to get out. You are going to get free. Matter of fact, it's already done. Okay? It's already done. And God will start your healing process soon after the breakthrough. All right? I love you guys. Take care. Bye.